Okay, we have a Nintendo Switch. Uh, customer claims he changed the battery in it and is now throwing an error code. So let's take a look and see what's going on. Okay, we're getting nothing. A point zero seven. Is powering up when we turn on the power. All right, so it is showing is throwing a twenty one sixty two dash zero 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 two. So that's typically going to be M ninety two T thirty six. So and the fact that it's not even pulling any current at all tells me that. That is probably the case, so what we will do is we'll pop it open, we'll do some measuring around the chip, uh, we'll check everything else as well, and see what happens. We'll be back. Okay, just noting there is a problem with the port. Before we get started on the M92, uh, I've messaged the customer and I'm going to have to await his response. Because that was going to raise the price. I'll be back once I know. Okay, the client gave me the go ahead on the port. Took him a while to get back to me. And I accidentally started without you, but I only started on one anchor point. Make sure we have no bridges on our pins. That would interfere with our measurements. And let's measure M92 again. Do not know if I did it on screen or not. Let's connect. I'm, I'm guessing I did not because meter is not connected. All right. But anyway, we we're getting some shorting. Why am I crooked? What the heck? Maybe the board or something. That would not be good. Alright. Finders the ground. P this is P13. The cap for P13. If this cap reads shorted to ground, it's usually a bad P13. It appears to be fine. Okay. Alright, these are the signal lines. This is the signal side for these capacitors. They should not be shorted. That one is shorted. That one is shorted. Okay. Signal side. Signal side. Signal side. Everything else looks good, but these two right here are uh, shorted. So that means M92 is bad. Let's go ahead and do our other measurements. Okay. Okay, measure around BQ, 24193. These are signal side. I think this is signal side. Yes, that's signal side. 
I think this is signal. No, it is not. That's ground. This is signal side. That's ground. All right. Everything looks okay here. And let's flip it over and check around our P13 USB, which is USB-C control. First thing we're going to check are these filters. We want them to beep straight through, but we do not want them to beep crossways. Okay, find ourselves a ground point, and then we're going to check this capacitor right under the chip. All right, I believe that's signal side. No short. That's ground. Signal side, ground. All right, everything else looks good. So we need to remove M92 T36, and we're also going to go ahead and remove the diode array on this side. Test around our M9 real quick. Just to be sure. Okay. Everything looks good. Nothing that's not on the same line is not touching. That's good. 
Nothing in short of the ground. Beautiful. Okay. So, shall we? Let's take a look inside the port and make sure we ain't got a bunch of gunk in there. Okay. Shall we? Perform a test. I say we should. All right. See kind of behavior. That seems normal. Beautiful. Flip it over. And that seems normal. On both sides. Beautiful. All right. Summarize. We opened the Nintendo Switch. Found a loose port. Contacted the client. Told them that the price was going to be a little bit higher because we had to change the port. Change the port. Tested M92. It was bad. Changed M92. We changed the diode arrays as a preventative measure because they're so problematic, at least for me, that it's worth doing every time. And I need to order more. Okay. So let's put it back together, at least enough to test, and then we'll be back. Okay. We're back. We're ready to perform a test. I'm going to bring over my known good battery first. Plug him in. Because I know it has a charge. And I'm pretty sure theirs does not have a charge. Although it's a new battery, it may have a charge. Um, let's see. I think we're ready to plug up. We are already on. And let's see if we have cleared our error. At least with our battery. Half battery symbol. All right. Looking good. All right, let's try the other side. Charging at point nine. There we go. One point four one. It's fast charging. Very good. Okay, so now we will reassemble and we will plug up their battery and go from there. We'll be right back. Okay, it's only been a little bit. It had some charge left in it. We're up to sixteen percent. On the OEM charger, I'm going to plug in my Joy-Cons because they did not give me Joy-Cons. I just like to make sure that they are charging. Why are you not connected? There we go. It's charging all three. That's good. Let's see if I can get that in video somehow. Ah, there we go. All right, that's good. Let's turn those off. And put them away. Back on the dock. I had a little charging dock for them. All right, I think we're ready to try it on the dock. Let's throw it on the dock, make sure we're getting dock sync. We're getting a green light. Well, let's flip it over and see if we're getting a capture. We are. Why, hello there. All right, looks like we're getting charging on both sides. We're getting dock sync. Uh, I think that's just about all we have for this uh, repair video. If you have any questions about the equipment I use and that I've discussed in this video, uh, it's down there in the description. And like and subscribe, and see you next time.